Turning back to our top story this morning, Kilauea erupting overnight. Our Cynthia Yip joins us in studio with the very latest from the U.S. Geological Survey as they continue to monitor developing conditions. Cynthia, good morning. Good morning, Leah. That's right. This morning, USGS says the eruption is contained to the caldera. So right now, fishers are feeding lava fountains at the base of Halima'oma'o within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Now, this eruption started at about 2.30 this morning. Now, these are new photos from Tiare and Mark Thomas in the volcano area. Oh they gosh, live just a few that. minutes away from Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. You can see Halima'oma'o just lighting up the sky. Now, I just spoke with Ken Han from the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, and he says they elevated Kilauea's volcano alert level from advisory to warning. If the eruption continues the way it is right now, it's a, it's a large fissure that runs across the southwest side of Halima'oma'u crater, and it's about 80 meters or somewhere on the order of, you know, uh, 200, 250 feet high is what the, the lava is going up in the air. Um, we expect it to calm down, and so probably we'll drop the alert level to orange here this morning once daylight hits. Um, and that means that we have an ongoing eruption, but it's not posing any direct threat to anybody. Ken Han says the impacted area of the park is now closed off to the public. He says scientists with USGS are now in the area with proper cleaning gear and equipment to observe the volcanic activity. No homes are under threat. But the U.S. Geological Survey says VOG is moving downward of the crater. Elevated activity was first detected at about 2 this morning, so stick with us on air and online for any more updates. And Ken Han says that this is actually an early Christmas present for those who want to see Kilauea erupt. He advises anyone visiting the park to be prepared to wait. And we'll, of course, continue to monitor this developing story throughout the morning and offer a breakdown of potential hazards. Reporting live, Cynthia Yip, Island News.